I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Quick picture now. To question the portrait is modern narcissism. They could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Speaking I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I, I should upgrade to the 21st century. It's your turn to but I like it old school. Now, based on the chapters, I have no doubt you all. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Memorized. Who can tell me the name of the actual process that led to the birth of the self-portrait? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Anybody? I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. This does not Plus it's vote. perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Just jump right in with an answer. Shh, shh, shh. I believe it has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The daguerreotypes.